What's up guys? Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. We're gonna start off this year, hopefully, with a good little steelhead session. Now, during my 12 videos in 12 days series, I did one live video where I got to talk to a bunch of you guys. And I think the number one recommended or suggested video that everyone wanted to see was a steelhead fishing video. And it was something that I already wanted to do. So I'm glad that I got the opportunity to do it today. I'm gonna be out here with my buddy Ensei, who you've probably already seen many times, but he's like the steelhead master. So I'm hoping he can, uh, I can learn a few things from him. I guarantee you at some point today, he's gonna to be like, he's gonna catch one. It's gonna be a nice one. And he's gonna be like, oh, I just got lucky. But we all know it's not luck. He's just, he's just a really good fisherman. So anyways, let's get out there, get down to the water. I actually have, well, I won't tell you that. I bought something that I've never, well, I have worn, but not in a very long time. Over 10 years, I've never worn worn these things. And you might know what I'm talking about already, but um, yeah, let's get out there. Today we're out there doing a little bit of steelhead fishing. Out here with my buddy uh, diehard fishing. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, get him in. Feels like a pretty nice one. See a nice uh, yeah. color on them? Yeah. It's really uh, pretty. Yay! <laughs> first fish of the morning. Nice little uh, female. All right, well, first cast for Ensei. Like I told you, he knows what he's doing out here, so first fish. Not too bad. How big do you think that is? Like five pounds, four pounds? Yeah, I think like five pounds maybe. Not a bad one to start off. I gotta get my line in the water here, so. Let's get set up and get in the water. All right, here goes nothing. Got it? I think so. Okay. Slanted? Yeah. Oh, you want it to be straight up? Oh! First cast. Atta boy! Atta boy! Yeah! Thanks, Keep man. Nice. Oh, are you sure? It's not snag? No, I think it's snag. Snag? Are you sure? Oh, I yeah. feel like it is. It is nice. Yeah. I'm gonna get it off it. Oh, I got, got it. it. Damn, I thought you had one. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah, I knew you would get lucky. I predicted that. Oh, there we go. That's a fish. I had a boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that tension on, okay? All right. Yeah. Rod down, rod down. He's gonna fly out there. Okay. There we go. Come out on the water. Bring that rod to the coast. Keep him in the water. Yeah. There you go. Recording. Yeah. Look out for that rod. Oh, the... Whoa! <laughs> 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 when he's ready, he's all the way Up there. Nice! Yeah. All right. Yeah, baby! Nice! Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, man. 
That's what's up, bro. That's what it's all about. That's all NSA right there. <laughs> so that, that's a buck, right? Yeah, that's a, a hatchery buck. So you oh, look at that. Keep it. All right, so a little bit smaller than NSA. This is a, a buck steelhead, so it's a male um, coming up the river. I think they're starting to spawn. You can see, you can see it's trying to spawn right now, actually. But anyways, this is a male steelhead. Wow, so much nicer looking and fighting than the, you know, normal trout that we've been catching recently. So if you watch my channel for a while, I caught a couple of these, well actually one on, on camera, in the ocean just by accident. So basically steelhead are just rainbow trout that make it to the ocean. Um, so they go out there for, I don't know, I don't know if they go up and down every year. Yeah, I can't say it anyways. They, they go, they're kind of like salmon. They go up out into the ocean and then up into the rivers to spawn. But the difference with steelhead is they, they survive the spawn. So they spawn and then go back. So anyways, I keep this one in the water. I want to keep it nice and healthy. So we're going to release this one. We could keep, we're going to keep a couple. Maybe we'll keep one or two by the end of the day. Um, but I'm going to release this one. There it is, California steelhead. I think this is probably like maybe average to a little bit below average size. The one NSA caught earlier was a little bit bigger than this. All right, one last look. That's my first river steelhead. Thank you, NSA. Yeah, you get some water through their gills. Yeah, I think he'll be good. He seems to be, there he goes. All right, there he goes. Let's get another one. Yeah, I just get lucky, you know. <laughs> All right. All right, so the general idea here is we got a bobber with a leader to our bait, obviously. Just like, a, you know, old school fishing, bobber fishing. Um, so you cast it upstream a little bit, let it drift down. Um, I don't know what I'm doing really, but apparently you're supposed to mend your line every once in a while just so that it gets a more natural drift. And uh, once you see the bobber go down, swing for the fences, keep the pressure on, and uh, yeah, it helps to have a good, good guide with you. He knows what he's doing. You guys a bite? Dragging on the bottom. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's right there. Dude, that one was like right there. So you can't even see the bomber anymore. It's so foggy. Oh, oh, I had one. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, I got him. Fighting very much, but I got him. It's a fish, man. Oh, there you go. Saw you. Oh, this one's a little beat up. <laughs> That's a little bigger one. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. I got it. All right. Somebody broke off. Oh, home. two hooks on it. Damn. <laughs> I 
Ouch. One here. With a barb on it, too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell illegal. Alright, well, we're gonna help this fish out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there's someone else's leader that was in there. Barb took and all. Yeah, two double barbed hook. Shame on them. Alright, there we go. Steelhead number two. This one doesn't quite look as good as the last one. This one, oh, he's dropping eggs right now. Alright, well you can see he's dropping eggs right there, so we'll, we'll get her back quick, but anyways. That's my first female steelhead, uh, in the river at least. That's it. This one, like I said, it's kind of beat up. It didn't fight as good because it was actually uh, already hooked by someone else who was actually using a barbed hook, which is illegal around here. So shame on them, but you know they didn't land her anyways. So we'll get her. We got all the hooks out. We got my hook out plus the other two hooks, um, and hopefully she'll be able to swim off nice and strong. So anyways, I don't want to hold her out of the water too long. Just kind of stressed out already, I think. But uh, yeah, fish number two. Not a bad one in terms of size. That's probably like a five pounder, four or five pounder, something like that. All right, we'll get her head in the current, try and get some water through her gills. I was saying she's kind of stressed out because of all the, all that stuff that was hanging off, but looks like she'll be okay. She goes. Number two. Yeah, so basically what I mean when I say mend the line, I'm still new to this, so don't, uh, you know, take it for the grain itself, but basically when your bobber is floating down current, um, your line is also on the top of the water also flowing down current, and if the current pulls your line a little bit faster than it'll pull the bobber and then what it'll do is it'll, it'll kind of pull the presentation down a little bit faster than what's natural so Ooh. dude there's fish jumping all over the place i will just jump right there let's see if we can get it once your bobber kind of gets down current from you just kind of let line out you don't want to pull your bobber at all so Every once in a while, I gotta mend it again. You want that to just go as as free as it can until something pops it. Then you gotta set the hook. Oh yeah, there's fish right here. Kind of in that same line where we were seeing them before. I see two of them straight in front of me. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I think you might have cast it a little bit past him. Yeah, you, you just went. You just went past him now. Try a little bit closer. Right there, right in that line. Um, it's kind of staying in one spot now. There's two of them. Oh, you got him. Yep, yep, the small one. Oh, you got the female. Yeah. Maybe not. I, I see head Well, yeah, I got him. Oh, yeah, that's a fighter. Yeah, this one's a little better fighter. These, these fish are so strong. And like I said earlier, we're using barbless hooks, so you gotta keep the pressure on, which is why you have a rod like this. This is actually the rod I normally use in the surf, but um, you know, it's technically a salmon steelhead rod, so this is more actually what it's designed for. 
So you want that bend so you can keep the pressure on the fish. Um, that barbel soak won't come free that way. Oh yeah, I got that one good. There we go. You can see that barbless hook right in the corner of the mouth. Here, watch how easy this will come out. Dink. Just like salmon fishing in the ocean. Got to keep that pressure. All right, a nice healthy female steelhead. So I'm going to keep this one. This is probably with a smaller, well, it's about the same size as me as the first one, but it's a female, so it'll have uh, some eggs for us to keep. Um, but you can only keep steelhead, I think, in all of California. Is that all of California? You can only keep the clipped ones? Yeah, all of California, you can only keep steelhead if they're a hatchery steelhead. And so the reason you can tell this is a hatchery steelhead is the adipose fin in the back that's clipped. Just like the salmon that we catch in the ocean. That is a beauty of a steelhead. Look at that full tail. You definitely don't get that with the, uh, you know, the planted rainbow trout that we normally catch in the Bay Area. I love the uh, colors and the fight on these fish. This one fought really good. The first one fought pretty good. The second one was, eh, it was kind of beat up because like I said, it had those hooks in them. But this one, I think this was the best fighter out of all of them that I've caught so far. This one fought pretty good. Salmon, you know, they die when they come up here and lay their eggs. But steelhead, you know, they'll come up and then they'll they'll survive. They'll go right back out and do the same thing over again. So even though they're a little bit weaker when they come up here, they're still really strong. You know, they gotta swim all the way back down and get back to the ocean. So anyways, we're gonna keep this one. What's the limit, two? The limit is two per person per day, um, but I'm not gonna keep, this is probably gonna be the only one I'll keep. Uh, the rest will be catch and release from here on out. But anyways, there you go. Nice little steelhead, probably maybe three pounder or so, three or four pounder. Oh, wow, this is a strong one. Well, I don't know how much you guys can see, but um, sun obviously went down already. We're kind of wrapping things up, but I got one more. Seems like the bite is good when it's early morning and late late evening. Just kind of kind of like most fish. All right, well, I know it's kind of dark, but there's a nice look at our fourth and final steelhead. And if you notice, this steelhead has a, uh, a hole punched out of the tail. Um, and that means that they brought this steelhead up to the um, hatchery, which is not too far from here. And they, um, 
you know, force it into labor, I guess you could say. So they take all the eggs or as many eggs as they can get out of it. Um, and then they incubate those, you know, do their thing so that they can become little, you know, steelhead fry. And then they release them back into the river to kind of keep this population going. So you can tell this is a hatchery steelhead because it's got the uh, clipped fin, clipped adipose fin there. Just like all the females that we caught today. I don't think I caught any wild still yet. I don't know if, I'm sure there's some in here, but um, you know, all the ones that we've caught today were all hatchery fish. So anyways, still really, really nice colors, full tails, strong fight. Man, really nice fish. Nice steelhead, huh? This is a fun video to film, fun video to uh, uh, do with nice adventure. Like I said in the beginning, this is one that kind of a lot of people want to, wanted to see and one that I actually wanted to film as well. So I'm happy to get out here. Really thankful for my buddy Ensay for bringing me out, showing me the ropes and, uh, you know, teaching me all there is to it. So I feel like I just skipped all the, the guesswork with, with steelhead fishing because I, you know, cause my buddy Ensay showed me the way. So make sure you, you check him out. He's got a lot of cool things in store for this year, not just YouTube channel, but I'll let him you know, go through all that stuff that he's got going. So for now, check him out on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description. You know, super thankful for him. He's he's the steelhead master, like I said. He's got probably thousands of these in his lifetime. So anyways, fun video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, let me know. I could see myself getting addicted to steelhead fishing. Oh, and by the way, like I was saying in the beginning, it's my first time wearing waders in a while. If they look like they're kind of big, that's because they are. Got two sizes bigger than I uh, wanted to, but it's all that they had at the, my local shop. So anyways, fun video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.